<laughs> Hello, today I'm going to be painting. This is very new for me. We all know this. I have not painted before. I haven't really shown my painting skills online before. So I'm not the best, but I will show you some of my paintings. Most of them are not finished and the rest of them are at my boyfriend's house because I gave him all my paintings. My favorite one I still have. It's kind of complete, kind of incomplete. It looks like this. I was gonna color in the white with like mosaic colors and stuff, but I haven't gotten to that. I'm really bad at that. I'll start a painting, then I never finish it. So today I will be painting upon this canvas. I just go with what my gut says. I don't have like a certain like agenda. I have no techniques. I've taken no art classes. I just paint. Do not think I am a artist. I think today I will be doing like something. I'm gonna take a whole bunch of reference photos because that's how I paint. I just paint all the reference photos. So I'm gonna be painting some reference photos and yeah, I'm gonna combine a whole bunch of reference photos to make it look cool. So I was thinking about doing a checkered floor and maybe a couple people and stuff like that. So we will see. I am not good with painting people. I will start sketching and then I will come back because I really don't wanna fill it up of me just, you know, sketching a whole bunch. I will be back with somewhat of a sketch or an update or whatever. So yeah. <laughs> okay, update. I now have, you cannot see it at all. Okay, so there's a guy with two dollar bills on his face. There's checker floors. So those are two different reference photos and I am probably gonna do like four more. So this is gonna be a while. I have finished sketching. Finished, finished. If you can see, there's a woman reading a book and a man with dollar bills on his face and then checkered floors and then clouds around them. I feel like this will work. This will work. This is basically gonna be a time lapse of me painting, so I'll be like this the whole time. <sighs> so yeah, let's see how this goes. Hopefully it goes pretty well. I'm excited about it. I'm not that hesitant, so yeah, let's get into it. I have a feeling this will be a little boring for you if there's just music playing. So, lucky for you, I'm going to talk. So, as you can see, I am painting a checkerboard floor. I learned this from my elementary school teacher. She is a legend, let me tell you. Um, right here, wait one second, one second. Right there, I mess up. So I used a piece of paper to wipe it up. It didn't work. So I just put some white paint over it later, basically. So yeah. How's your guys' day going? Mine is going very boring, um, per usual. So yeah, oh, that was me FaceTiming my boyfriend. Um, and I just paint and paint and paint. And then I'm doing dots to make sure, but little do I know I mess up on the many, well, most of the dots, so that's a perk. Um, so yeah, I try to be as nice and clean as possible. Um, obviously Taylor doesn't work that way. So yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the checkerboard and then I will be back because I really don't want to waste a whole bunch of time. Eh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm really close, but here's the update. Here's the floor. <laughs> I actually really like it. Like, it looks trippy. It's pretty cool. And all I gotta do is the lady and then the man. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a kitty. You want to come up here? Say hello. It's a kitty. So this is what I have so far. Um, I really like it. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty funky fresh. This will probably be a multiple day project. This took two hours to do. And I've only done the black. I still have to go through and do the white and fin fix it up a bit. This is three hours of work right here. Wow. <laughs> looks like I have done nothing. Oh, I also tried a skin tone on him and I cannot make skin tones for shit. So I was just like, why not just use color? You know, 
So I'm just leaving it at, I'm making him blue and I don't know what color I'll make her. She might be purple, she might be red, we have no idea. We will see. So yeah, let's just get to painting the man, Elvis. So Elvis is looking pretty cute, pretty sexy, you know how it is. But I just want to apologize. I sound like I am in a cam. So that's that. I can't really do anything about it. It's my headphones and my mic in the headphones. It's a little messy. He only, uh, all he needs are his dollar bills. So that was awkward. We're just going to ignore that I even did that. So I started off with a light green, you know, because like dollar dollar bills, yo, um, never mind. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? No. And then it takes me forever to take off this cap of the freaking uh, paint. So then I go over it with a more like seafoam green. Oh my God, look at me. And my colors. I don't know if it's a seafoam green. Don't correct me. I no. And then I'm just like, do 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 do, and then I go through the grooves, and then I start painting with this darker green, but this darker green is a little pain in my behind, so I had to go over it a couple of times, and that was not fun for Taylor. No, it was not. I had to make it thick. Thick. Final product for the night. I will be painting tomorrow. Hopefully it gets done and hopefully I'll talk more with you guys. Today was just like getting it sketched and done. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello my funky friends. It is the next morning and I'm wearing the same clothes and I still have my hair in a crusty bun. Um, it's a little crusty looking. I'm gonna go through and fix it up a bit later but I'm gonna do the girl next and then I'm gonna do the background. And yeah, so just stay on there I guess. If you guys like this video or if you don't, comment down below if you want to see more of this stuff or less of this stuff. Just comment down below. And what do you want to see from moi? Because I'm willing to give anything, you know, appropriate. None of y'all dirty minds out there. Get away. Please get out of my comments. Uh, so, yeah. My, my, my camera card was full. <laughs> So after we dealt with the camera card thing, Emma Bobber, um, I started painting uh, this with the idea of her being like Count Dracula or whatever his name is from Elmo, you know, taught us how to count when we were kids, you know, you know what I mean. Um, and then I was like, wait, it doesn't look right. And so because the, the color just clashed wrong, you know, so I lightened it up and then I mixed them together in a way to where that they made the perfect crisp purple lilac color isn't it beautiful don't you like my little count dracula lady honestly we could say it's count dracula like soon you'll see it'll be rocking his shades it's shirt time baby oh no my camera's gonna die <laughs> hello so i started working on the little lady um my camera died so that was the problem that i had but we're on our final streak so this should be fun, fun little final round of doing her. Uh, I didn't like that. But I really like this floor, it's really cool. It's really funky, really fun, really cool. So <laughs> yeah, so let's just start working. We are gonna touch up the little lad because he's a little funky looking. You guys can't see it, but I can and he is looking funky. I broke this one, I accidentally sat on it, so I had to glue it back together. So it looks like this. Fun fact, I actually did glue that back on. It broke totally and all the metal was like bent and it wasn't looking cute. So then I was like, girl, and so I found some nail glue and I glued it back on. And it took like 10 times of putting the glue upon thy brush. But yeah, then I'm working on a little squiggly, doing all the touch-ups, making sure the color is solid, opaque, and not funky. You know? Because, like, we need to have some nice... Oh, and then I work on our jawline, you know. Uh... <laughs> Are you as uncomfortable as I am from those noises? Okay, good. Then I work on her armpit, you know. Uh, and then her fingers. I was actually surprised. I'm actually normally really bad at doing fingers, but since... They had four, uh, it wasn't as much of a problem because it doesn't have to look realistic at all. So that's the struggle there. No! 
I smudged it right there. After I mentally got over the smudge, I just ignored it and was like, I'll work on the background and I'll cover it right up. My neighbor's going on a walk. <laughs> I am so sorry for how creepy and weird I am. Oh my god. It's time to start with the background. I don't know what color I'm gonna do. I want to do a blue, but he's blue. Mm. What color will I use? But I'm gonna try something with this molding paste. This molding paste. I don't know how to use it, so let's let's just look it up real quick. How to use Art Loft's molding paste. It's modeling paste. Okay, wait. I know what I'm gonna do with the background. I'm just gonna do it like blue and then like white. <laughs> with this molding paste. So I'm gonna try and use the molding paste. This is a big risk for Taylor to do. Taylor doesn't normally do risks. This whole method was totally new for me. I have never used molding paste uh, before. And so I just Googled it real quick and was like, we're gonna do it. Um, so yeah, it was a struggle to cover up the lines right to where I wouldn't overflow, overflow to where I wouldn't um, color on the lines, you know, like in uh, kindergarten. Finished it. It looks pretty cool. Now I just gotta let it dry and hopefully it looks, it turns out good. I might work on the glaze down here. I don't think that's what I'm gonna do. Do I do a gloss or iridescent? We're gonna do a gloss because that sounds fancier. So yeah. I'm just gonna say one thing, Taylor. You should have done iridescent because right now I'm looking at this painting and you can't even see the gloss. I have to leave it for like 10, 15 minutes. So I'll be back. Hello. So I did this little thingy mabob. You, you saw me do it. Um, it's also still not dry. And it's been like 40 minutes. I'm just going to try and paint on it. And we're going to cross our fingers that it doesn't go wrong. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Great. Let's get painting, I guess. Since this method was very new for me, I thought I'd just play around and smack thick paint. <laughs> Poops. I'm just going really messy with this. It'll be fun. I'm not gonna lie with you, it actually was pretty fun. Besides the fact where I got paint everywhere. Not fun. It wasn't. I promise. And then I'm going over Elvis's hair and I accidentally mess it up right there. I was so heartbroken because then I have to go back over and fix her up again, which was kind of frustrating. But, you know, I thought his hair looked beautiful. Can we talk about that for a second? Um, Elvis, sorry you died. R.I.P. I'm making a painting of you with dollar bills on your face. So hopefully you enjoy that up there, Elvis. Um, yeah. <laughs> now we're going to shade it because it's just blue. So we're gonna shade it and add some color. I love doing this cloud method. I've done it a couple of times for paintings and it's just like really fun, but uh, I forgot how to do it. So I kind of mess up. Now we need to add the white and then we're almost done. All I need to do is trace over black and give some more shebang and we're good. The main thing really keeping it together is the background. I know you cannot see the background like texture, but it's good. Ta-da! Let me give you a close-up. Look at it. Looks like the sky. I need to add more white. This is true. Bob Ross taught me this, kind of. It gives it that fluffy texture. I will be back. Give me a couple seconds. I need a bathroom break. I need to go potty. Okay, we're on our final stretch of the painting. Um, the clouds aren't blended out very well, so I'm gonna go through, re-blend them out. Yeah, we're just gonna do that right now. The clouds didn't really speak to me, so I blended it out, you know, made it look more speakable. Okay, so we finished the background, blended out enough to where I want it to be. I kind of like it messily blended, you know, that's just my vibe, that's how I work. It's very messy, and I like that. That's my life. That's how it works. Okay, get with the program, or go home. Let's do our final touches. I'm really excited, and then I'm done, and then I can go to sleep. Yay. Final stretch! So I'm making like this final stretch. I'm going across the checkerboard line to make it look like a floor, kind of. Whatever. Then soon I will go and then touch up Elvis and his luscious hair. 
oh his hair is so beautiful and then yeah that's really it um if you guys like this video subscribe don't end this video though keep watching please <gasps> my camera's gonna die okay i'm gonna finish this and then i will come back with the final result because my camera's gonna die uh, you know how it be okay so i'm gonna try and do this before my camera dies because it is about to die but thank you for watching here's the final painting look at it look at all its glory and beauty oh it's just so beautiful isn't it so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed me doing some painting um this is the first time i've ever released my creativity skills online so yeah thank you for watching comment down below hit the bell do whatever you feel is necessary thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much and bye <laughs>